Hey, welcome back again. So today in this mini video guitar lesson we're going to learn bar chords. Now, if you remember me telling you before, there's two ways of playing guitar. There's rhythm and lead. And rhythm tends to be chords where you're strumming or playing more than one note at once, generally. And lead tends to be where you're playing one note at once, where you're doing solos or melodies or improvising, you know, usually using a scale or something. So um, bar chords definitely fall into the rhythm category because they're a type of chords and if you remember earlier in the course we learned some other chords we learned an E an A, a D, and a G, and we learn how to strum them and pick them. And we also learn power chords, which are when we just hold down these two notes at once. So I hope you've had a chance to practice all that, and I hope you've really memorized it all, and you can play it easily now. Now, bar chords are like a cross between the two, because in the same way that we move power chords around, we're going to move the bar chords around, but it does involve strumming all the strings usually. Um, so let me stop talking about it and let me just give you an example of what these bar chords look like. So I think you gather from that that bar chords are a little bit um, more complicated. They use more notes and as a result of that it means you can play more interesting things. But I don't want you to be worried really that the, the two chords I'm going to show you today which are minor and major will allow you to play so many different things. You won't believe it at the moment but once I've showed you this you'll realize what I mean so the first thing I want you to do is to take your first finger and put a bar on um, and what that means is to hold down all the strings flat and we're gonna do it at fret 7 um, so what you need to do is hold down with plenty of pressure and if you pluck all those strings they should all sound crystal clear <laughs> Now, that takes a lot of strength from your hand, and to be honest, I'll be surprised if you can do it like that first time. It usually takes people a lot of practice to build the strength in their fingers, and, and also just to get used to the position that you need to have your hand in. So don't worry if it's not perfect straight away, just try it again. Okay, good. So what you're going to do once you've got that bar on and it's sounding okay, um, we're going to use these two fingers to form a minor chord. And what that means is to take the third finger and put it on the fifth string at fret 9, and the little finger goes right next to it on the fourth string at fret 9. So now, um, you can also look at the, 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 the chord chart next to me if you just want to clarify that. So I'm going to strum all the strings again. And you can hear that this time it sounds like a proper chord. Now that is a minor chord because it's only using two fingers. If we were to put our middle finger on the third string at fret 8, that would become a major chord. And you can hear that it sounds happier. You know, generally speaking, the minor sounds sadder and the major sounds happier. Okay, so what we've got here at fret 7 is a B minor chord. And it's B minor because it's at fret 7. If we were to move our bar down two frets, so the bar's now at fret 5, and we were to do um, a major chord like this, that would now be an A shape because fret 5 is an A. If we were to move down two more frets and play the major shape like that, we'd have a G. G major and take it down one more fret and you've now got F sharp major. So let me just play that again because I want to make it really clear to you exactly what I'm doing. This first shape is at fret 7 with the bar and we're just using two fingers and so that means it's a B minor because B is fret 7 and two fingers is minor. Move it down to fret 5 which is now an A and we're going to include the middle finger and that makes it a major so we don't have to say major you can just say A or you can say A major if you want to and now we're going to move it down two more frets to G major and then one more fret to F sharp major okay now just hold on one second. I understand that these bar chords are quite an advanced thing. They're very tricky. It takes a lot of strength from your fingers and it takes a lot of getting used to. So I don't want you to be worried if you can't play it perfectly straight away. What I suggest you do is pause the video or, or watch it again from the start if you need to just to clarify what to do and take your time and be really patient with yourself. There's no rush to get it right. I can promise you I didn't learn to play bar chords instantly. It took me weeks and weeks of practice to get it sounding smooth. 
food, okay? So I just want you to understand that, because so, I don't want you to get frustrated while you're practicing. So, um, let's try strumming four times on each one of those chords. So B minor. A major. G major. F sharp major. Okay, I think you get the idea. So what happens is now you can start to experiment. You can move the bar around all over the neck of the guitar and you can either choose to do major or minor and you can now start to write your own songs and they're really going to sound interesting. Um, so for example, let me try and make something up now as I go along. Um, That, that was just a few chords I was making it up as I went along you know it's nothing special but I think you get the idea that if you sat there and experimented and moved around uh, and you could find chord sequences that sounded brilliant then you're a songwriter so congratulations it really is that simple okay so like I said I'll say it again these bar chords are quite advanced I suggest you watch this video a few times really get used to it really practice it your fingers will ache okay um, but it, it, it'll be so worth it in the end because this will allow you to play so many different songs just by simply moving this bar around it really is that simple so congratulations I'm really glad you've got this far and I, I hope you appreciate the fact that I've given you a variety of different things different techniques to learn you know we've been doing lead guitar we've learned scales hammer-ons pull-offs we've done power chords you know now we've done bar chords we've done finger picking strumming patterns um, I hope you're really getting into it and I hope you're looking forward to the point where you know all this stuff Stuff, and where you can go away and learn any song that you want to learn and if you want to go to the archive and see what songs are available there's loads of full-length video guitar lessons no matter what band you're into or what songs you like there's stuff there that I'm sure you'll want to learn so by all means go and check it out so go and get on with it go and practice it I'll see you in a few days for the next segment of this e-course we've still got those to look forward to okay bye bye